A long time ago, the ghoul realm barely escaped great peril. A large army of destroyers came from a neighboring universe. The creatures of the ghoul realm were no match for the powerful destroyers. Just when everyone had given up hope, a great fire swept over the realm, wiping out the destroyer's army. Several hundred years have passed, and the realm is threatened once again. How's everybody doing? This is my first attempt at a Let's Play just for fun, more or less. We're going to play Gargoyle's Quest for the Game Boy. That's a Ghost and Goblins spin-off. You probably know the Ghost and Goblins games. Ghouls and Ghosts, Super Ghouls and Ghosts. This is uh, uh, based on the uh, main character in this game is Firebrand, who you may remember from the Ghosts and Goblins, Ghouls and Ghosts games. He's like a red demon guy. There he is, Firebrand. An unknown army attacked. The king has been Gua. The king has been Gua. They are very strong. Firebrand, return to the realm immediately. Hurry before they close the dimension portal that leads here. I don't know if they're dying or just disappearing. Um, but this game is pretty sweet. There's three in the series. There's this game for the Game Boy that came out in 1990. Gargoyles Quest 2 for the NES came out in 92. And then Demon's Crest for the SNES that came out in 1994. There's two elements to this game. Uh, there's this top-down thing that you just saw. It's kind of like Dragon Warrior. And then there's the sweet side-scrolling thing, which is a lot more like the original game. But I'm Firebrand, so I get some sweet moves. Like, I can hover for a limited amount of time. And... I can grab onto walls like a badass. Look how cool he looks. He's like a little stocky guy. And he's got this sweet fire spit move. Alright, so this is... This place is in uh, disrepair, let's just say that. A lot of fire, a lot of demons. I have played through the first level of this game once. Once or twice, actually. But, um, I haven't gotten any further than that. I own the game for Game Boy, but of course I'm playing this on an emulator right now. It's a little hard to record off of Game Boy. I want to do, like, maybe someday, I'd like to do a Super Game Boy recording. I don't think it'll be a Super Game Boy. It'll be a, um, GameCube. Game Boy hookup. These hearts, they give you one health, which is so vital, but uh, you don't get any more than that. I'm guessing that later in the game you get power-ups and stuff. I honestly have no idea. Alright. So I'm kind of, I've, I've played to this level a couple of times, trying to get the sound right and trying to get everything fine-tuned. Um, I was not very good at this when I first started. Um, it's, it's kind of tough to record and play, you know, kind of tough to talk and play at the same time, because your brain is doing two different things, but um, I'm getting a little bit better at it. Look at these sprites, aren't they so cool? It's like piles of people underground. It's really freaky. So, and these ghosts. I don't know. What is this guy doing? That's like a ghost, but it's a guy in a ghost costume. Like, he's not even a ghost. He's just kind of pretending. <laughs> that guy's a firehead. That's for true. I don't need that heart. So we're already at the, the boss. This is like as far as I've gotten, folks. I mean, I beat this guy. But he's a fish with hands and a freaky face. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. The trick is to just lay into him, and then get out of the frickin' way. Uh, get as many hits off as you can. The thing with the shoot, with the projectile, is um, if you shoot one a long distance, you can't shoot another one until it's off the screen. Got him. You have no idea how 
difficult that guy was for me the first time around. I don't know why. Uh, anyway, boss one, done and done. On to the next. You passed through the dimension portal and reached the cool realm. Go around the cool round, baby. So that's where I'm going to end it. It's a short ass video, but uh, this is my first little test into it. So tune in next time. Until then, sayonara.